take our foot off of the brake. Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. This is part two of our tractor decision series, and this video is about hydrostatic versus standard transmission. If you missed part one, it was all about new tractors versus old tractors. Definitely advantages and disadvantages to each. I'll put a link to that video up above. But in this video, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. We're gonna be talking about the advantages of a hydrostatic tractor, like our John Deere 2210, and the advantages of a standard transmission tractor, like our Ford Workmaster 641. So first, let me explain what I'm talking about if you're not familiar. Hydrostatic transmission tractors use hydraulic fluid and pumps to pressurize the drivetrain of the tractor. In these tractors, typically, there is a pedal that controls forward and reverse movement so in this John Deere tractor, there's two pedals side by side. One is forward, one's reverse. The further you press it, the faster you go. When I talk about a standard transmission tractor, I'm talking about something like this old Ford. You're gonna have a gear selector like this with multiple gears and reverse, and you're gonna need to use a clutch to engage and disengage the transmission. Now on newer tractors with the standard transmission, they often have something called shuttle shift, which is one lever that lets you quickly shift between forward and reverse. But on this old Ford tractor, which would be common of a Ford 8N or any of the tractors in the late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and maybe even into the 80s, you would select a gear, let the clutch out, and you'd be running in that gear. There is no shifting between gears. You can't on the fly shift like you would in a manual transmission car. You need to stop, select your new gear to be running in, let the clutch out, and drive at that speed. Adjusting the throttle will increase or decrease your speed slightly, but primarily to change speeds, you want to use that gear selector. Now I'll start out by saying I have done loader work with both a standard transmission tractor and a hydrostatic tractor. And in my mind, these things should go hand in hand. So in my personal opinion, if you're going to have this loader joystick, you want to have those hydrostatic pedals. I've done loader work with both the hydrostatic and the standard transmission tractor, and I find loader work to be much more pleasant, easier, and faster with the hydrostatic transmission. Another thing you might notice about our John Deere 2210 tractor, unlike the newer tractors of today, this does not have auto throttle or cruise control. Those two factors might make what I'm about to say next a little bit different. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is an indicator here for the linked pedal lever. When you flip this lever up, that lights up and says linked pedal. is what allows us to uh, put it in a drive range here, take our foot off of the brake, engage a pedal, and then auto 
automatically throttle up as needed to drive. You can see the further I push the pedal, the faster we're going and the higher that throttle works. And it's not only in forward, it does the same thing in reverse. We do have cruise control, if you're wondering about that. Cruise control is this indicator right here. So let's say we're going at this speed, we hit the cruise, there you go. I am no longer pushing the pedal, but we are moving at the same speed. You can see my nice view out the rear view mirror there. The upper mirror. But I'm not having to uh, hold that throttle down, it's just cruise control holding it all in place. If you do not have front end loader work to do, and you're primarily mowing or brush hogging, I think a standard transmission is a better option, and I'll tell you why. On my John Deere 2210 without cruise control, you're constantly maintaining your foot pressure on that pedal to maintain your speed. So just imagine driving a car around long distances without cruise control, that's what it's like driving that hydrostatic tractor long distances mowing without cruise control. It's not the end of the world, but I find the standard transmission tractor, I put this in first or second gear, adjust my throttle to the right RPMs to run my brush hog or my mower, and I'm just cruising along across that field until it's mowed. I don't have to have my foot on a pedal, I don't have to have my hand on a throttle, I can just cruise along mowing. Another disadvantage that I've never had a problem with, but just wanted to make you aware of, is that the hydrostatic drive does use some of the horsepower of the engine. So you're gonna lose a little bit of that horsepower to power the hydrostatic pump, the hydraulic pump, that's making your transaxle go. A hydrostatic transmission does require hydraulic oil, and you'll wanna maintain that properly at the right level. Also underneath the tractor on a hydrostatic tractor, you're gonna have a filter and a cooling fan under there. We did a video once, we broke the blades off of that fan and had to replace it. Not a super easy task, but I did find a quick and easy way to do it. I guess quicker and easier than splitting the tractor apart or taking the whole transmission out. I'll put a link to that video up above. Now that's not to say that a standard transmission tractor doesn't also have maintenance to do you are gonna have a clutch. And over time, that clutch may wear down. And in most cases, the way to replace that clutch is to split the tractor apart and replace the clutch that makes contact with the flywheel. So those of you with tractors and front end loaders, leave those comments down below if you agree with my thinking that if you're gonna have a front end loader, it's better to have a hydrostatic transmission. I think it's faster and easier to use. Now, if you're gonna be doing a lot of mowing or towing, I forgot to mention towing, I have noticed that when you tow with the John Deere, with the hydrostatic transmission, it does an okay job, but it feels like it's really straining that transmission sometimes if you're towing, let's say, a hay wagon full of hay, or in our case, a boat out of the shed. You can feel that load on that hydrostatic transmission. Whereas with this standard transmission, if you are pulling a wagon full of hay, you just select the appropriate gear, probably first, maybe second, tow your way right out of that field and up to the barn. So there you go, my thoughts on hydrostatic versus standard transmission tractors, if that's a decision you're making at this point. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up down below. Leave those comments on your experience, what you're looking at, what you're thinking about, or if you've owned tractors a long time, what your thoughts are on hydrostatic versus standard transmission tractors. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this and you're not already following us, click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you follow us along here at Purple Collar Life. We'll see you again the next time. Number three video in our series is coming up tomorrow. Tractor Decisions, part three. Stay tuned.